Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my realistic skincare routine. I say realistic because lately, I don't want to say I don't have as much time for skincare. I mean, that's certainly true as well. I just don't have as much time that I want to devote to skincare because at nighttime, when I'm unwinding, I don't want to be like steaming my face or doing all kinds of facial gadgets or serums or stuff. I really just want to be on the couch with my husband watching True Detective while also simultaneously staring at my iPhone screen because that's how I relax. But I still also want my skin to look fantastic. <laughs> I've really been sticking to products that I can see makes a huge impact in my skin. I can see that they make a difference and cutting out all the extra fluff, trimming the fat, whatever you want to call it. I'm ruthless. One of the biggest game changers in my routine has definitely been a product by Volition, which is a skincare brand that you can find at Sephora. Now they were kind enough to partner with me on this video, but that does not mean that it has influenced my thoughts about the product. It's honestly a game changing product. I noticed a difference the first time I used it. So anyways, why don't we just go ahead and get you started. Let's take a journey, a skincare journey. In the past, I would say I've always had normal combination skin. This past year, things have changed a lot and I developed lots of dryness, dry patches, physical rough sand papery feeling rough spots on my face. My nose was a problem area. I had flakiness, clogged pores on my nose, and I still kind of deal with redness from time to time, which I'm still kind of working through that. But I really feel like I've resolved a lot of those other issues. Now, as you can see, guys, I am not wearing false lashes today. Can we just take a second? I actually kind of like it. I said it. But when I do wear false lashes, the best thing I've ever found to remove them ever, and I've tried a lot of stuff, guys. This is the Neutrogena Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover, the liquid, shake it up, dip a little Q-tip in this, run it across, across your lash line. <laughs> Let it soak in for a minute and really soften that glue so it's nice and gummy and you can easily remove your lashes when I see people just ripping them off their eyes. Oh, it makes my soul cry. So in order to remove my liquid foundations, full coverage foundations, everything, this product is my holy grail cleanser. It melts it all away like it's nothing. And I have to say the brand very fast or else I can't say it. Herborian. It is the Herborian solid cleansing oil. I've tried so many other balms, cleansing oils. They always leave me wanting so much more and my skin is never completely cleansed of all my foundation after I've used it and I have to go back in with like a makeup wipe or something with friction in order to really get it off. This melts away your foundation, even the fullest coverage foundation. I just apply it to a dry face, which cuts down on the amount of like dripping down and the amount of mess. And then I'll really work it in, sometimes even let it sit for a minute if I can, and then rinse it away or wipe it away and it removes any trace of your makeup. The cleansing oil is not meant for eye makeup, so I'll use my Neutrogena eye makeup remover on a cotton round for that. Then I'm gonna take one of my Neutrogena makeup remover wipes, and I'm gonna go around my hairline with that because I don't like to bring the cleansing oil too close to my hairline because I don't wanna get oil in my hair. To exfoliate, I have been using the Dermalogica Daily Superfoliant for a while. I love this product. This is a powder exfoliant. So it's like this grayish green color, and I love this because they've taken Taking all the water out of it so you can tailor the grittiness to exactly what you want. I love a gritty exfoliation, let me just tell you. So I use a lot of it. Was my necklace flipped around that entire time? I feel like my jewelry is never quite as it should be in videos. And you guys will notice one thing I'm not featuring today in this video is a toner. And I uh, kind of. I'll get to that. I have used them in the past and like them and I know a lot of people use them too, but I feel like of anything I could drop out of my skincare routine to simplify it, it was definitely a toner because it just doesn't quite give me enough. The next thing I want to talk about that is so good are these Volition Apple Cider Vinegar Resurfacing Peel Pads. So they are pretty much like 30 facials in a box. One thing I don't have time for these days is a facial. I'm not going to any secondary locations to get beauty treatments. But you just swipe this across your face, it improves skin texture, helps promote cell renewal, it tones your complexion so it does kind of give you a little toning action, purifies clogged pores and adds radiance. And the apple cider vinegar is what really helps with that because it is loaded with potassium and vitamins A and C and E and also the alpha hydroxy acid removes dead skin cells. Since I started using this, my skin is so much brighter, it helps it to be more blemish free. When it combined, especially with the exfoliator, it looks so smooth, like glass. Think 
frozen pond vibes. So a tingling sensation is totally normal when you use these. Also, I get redness on my skin. I used to get more when I first started using them, but I feel like it is pretty typical of a peel for me and that kind of subsides really quickly. But if you do have sensitive skin, you just wanna patch test a small area of your face first and kind of work up to using them more often so your skin can get acclimated. Those are great. So I tried to wait till this hive on my forehead went away to continue, but it's not going away. So we are going to continue with it. Sometimes I get hives randomly after I pet my cat, so that's what that is. Moisturizer. I use this day and night, and honestly, I feel like I've been talking more about my nighttime skincare routine. That is because that's when I apply the products that I really wanna use to change the appearance of my skin. During the daytime, if I'm applying makeup, I'll apply this underneath or maybe a little sunscreen in my makeup or something like that, if I do anything. I really, I don't even wash my face in the morning most times. This one is the First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream. It just gives this incredible plumped look to your skin and it really gives this nice bounce to your skin. And again, don't mind that big hive on my forehead. But sometimes at night I feel like I do need that little extra bit of hydration and this product is my new ultimate favorite. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cannabis and Oat Dry Oil, and this is safe for sensitive skin. This is quite possibly my most favorite oil that I've ever tried. I did use the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil for a while, and this one is very nice. It's ultra rich. There's just something keeping me from being obsessed with this. I don't know what it is. I can't vocalize it to you, but I honestly like the First Aid Beauty one way better. It just gives it that something, like that glow. It makes your skin feel so, so soft. And I feel like this is the, one of the only moisturizing products that I have tried that truly makes your skin look different the next morning. Like if you wear this overnight, you can still see the next morning that your skin hasn't quite drank it all up. Like it looks glowy and super hydrated even when you wake up. So I love this. It's not going to make your face high, but it is going to make it look really good. Now, as for eye cream, morning and night, I've been using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream, which smooths, brightens, and de-puffs. At first glance, it looks like it's going to be another kind of like water gel type product, but it is a little bit thicker than that. It's a bit more dense and kind of balmy, so I really like that for the under eye. I feel like it just kind of fills things in a little bit and makes it again a bit bouncy and so it works really well under concealer or just by itself when it comes to masks i haven't been doing them actually that's not true i have but i really prefer sleeping masks because it works while i sleep okay enough said sheet masks have just been a yeah right um, ones that I have to let dry and then rinse off. It just elongates the skincare process. Haven't really been doing those. I'm not saying I'm never gonna do them again. I certainly will. Just not right now. The theme of this video, <laughs> that's what I tell myself to keep myself sane. This is by Glow Recipe, the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. This one is talked about a whole heck of a lot here on YouTube and I feel like it is totally worth the hype 100%. It's just so incredible. It makes your skin just glow. Mine is kind of weird. Like, I don't know if anybody else's does this. I guess I could shake it up, but a lot of times it separates. So it gets kind of like, it's like a gelatinous jiggly mask, but it also has like some liquid going on in there too. It's very strange, but very good. And it smells like watermelon nirvana. And I will just spread this all over my face. Now, at first you're going to look at it and be like, whoa, how am I ever going to sleep with that on my face? Because it looks like you just applied a slick gel all over your face. But by the time you actually crawl in bed, it will be absorbed so it won't look like wet like this and your skin will just be glowing. It'll be so soft. I feel like this product actually does something. So why I continue to use it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let that sink in. And then for my lips, Lately, if I do a scrub or anything, I've been using the Too Faced Exfoliating Peach Sugar Lip Scrub. And for my lips, I will use the Laneige, I think that's how you say it, Lip Sleeping Mask. I'm a little bit on the fence with this. I'm not gonna lie, I know people are obsessed with this. <sighs> yes, I have used a whole lot of this product, and yes, I do use it every single night before I go to bed. And yes, it does make my lips nice and soft and also just pink and glowy. It's very light pink, it's not like it's tinted or anything. But a part of me kinda just feels like it's a lip balm, you know? But it's one that I use all the time, every single day, so I guess I love it. Uh, <laughs> but it is a lip sleeping mask, so again, there's not much effort involved. And then if you're looking for a super affordable 
just a really good lip balm from the drugstore, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Treatment is incredible. I have probably about, give or take 5,000 of these sitting around my house and in all my purses and in my car and everywhere. I absolutely love these little lip balms. They're really, really great. So I hope you guys can see by now that Glow Recipe Mask has really absorbed. And you can just see, I hate to keep saying the word glow over and over, but really, it gives you a glow. Leaves your skin feeling, old, like honestly, right now, my skin is so, so soft. So soft I could cry. All right guys, so that is it for my skincare routine. I hope this helped you guys out and seeing some of the things that I have sort of temporarily at least cut out of my skincare routine and the products that I use that I really feel like pack the most punch in changing the appearance of my skin and just giving that fresh radiant look that I feel like we are all looking for. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.